Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. Chapter 1 It is London in 1872. And this is Mr. Phileas Fogg's house. Second of October, 1872. Mr. Phileas Fogg is an English gentleman. He lives in London. He hasn't got a wife or children, but he has got a French servant, Passepartout. Fogg goes to his club every day. He eats at his club at 12 o'clock. In the afternoon, he reads there. In the evening, he eats there again. Then he talks with his friends. And at midnight, he goes home. Passepartout is happy. He wants a quiet job. Mr. Fogg's day. Eight o'clock. Gets up. 8.23. Breakfast. 9.37. Gets ready. 11.30. Goes to club. Midnight. Goes home. But one evening, Fogg sees something interesting in the Times. Gentleman thief takes five thousand pounds from the Bank of England. At the club, Fogg's friends talk. That gentleman thief can't go far, says Ralph. With trains and ships, today's detectives move fast. But thieves can move fast, too, Flanagan says. Today, you can go round the world in 80 days, says Fogg. Do it, and I pay you 20,000 pounds, says Stuart. I'm leaving tonight answers Fogg. Perhaps I can't do it, Stuart. But then I pay you twenty thousand pounds. The train for France leaves before nine in the evening. Fogg must be back in London by the 21st of December. Fogg gives £20,000 in a bag to his servant. We're leaving for France, he says. Passepartout isn't very happy. They go to France. Then they take a train to Italy and a ship to Port Said in Egypt. Mm -hmm. 
When their ship arrives in Suez, an English detective, Mr. Fix, is waiting. He's looking for the gentleman thief. Suez, October the 9th. Fogg visits the passport office. Mr. Fix sees him there. It's the gentleman thief, he thinks. I must tell London. Chapter 2 Fix looks at Passepartout. Where are you going? He asks. Around the world, says Passepartout. But right now, I need some new shirts. Fix takes him to a shop and leaves him there. Then he sends a telegram to London. The gentleman thief is going to Bombay. Stop. From Fix. Later, he gets on the ship for Bombay with Fogg and Passepartout. It is the 20th of October. They all arrive in Bombay two days early. At 4.30 in the afternoon, Fogg and Passepartout leave the ship. They want to get a train across India to Calcutta. It leaves at eight o'clock. First, Fogg goes to the passport office. Then he eats at the station. Passepartout visits the temple at Malabar Hill. But he doesn't take off his shoes. Visitors must remove their shoes. The priests get angry. They take his shoes and Passepartout runs away. Fogg and Passepartout get on the train, but Fix stays in Bombay. He is waiting for a telegram from London. After three days, the train stops. The railway from Colby to Allahabad isn't ready. Some men are building the railway, but there are 80 kilometers without a railway between Colby and Allahabad. In Colby, Passepartout gets some new shoes. 
he also finds an elephant to take them to a lullabad. They stop near a temple in the village of Pilaji. The old Indian prince is dead. His young wife, the princess, must die with him in a big fire. We must help that woman, says Fog. The priests start the fire. Through the smoke, Fog sees something beautiful. The prince stands up and takes the princess out of the fire. The prince and the princess come nearer. Fog sees that the man is not the prince. It is Passepartout in the prince's clothes. Quickly, let's go, says Passepartout to Fog, quietly. Suddenly, the priests see the prince's body on the fire. They see that the man in the prince's clothes is not the prince and they become angry. Fog, Passepartout and the princess leave very quickly on the elephant. Chapter 3 At last, they arrive in Alalabad. Fog buys some European clothes for the princess. What a beautiful woman, he thinks. 24th of October On the train going to Calcutta, she speaks for the first time. My name's Mrs. Aouda. Thank you for helping me. But I don't know what to do now. I can never go home. We can take you to Hong Kong, Fogg says. Thank you, says Mrs. Aouda. I have a cousin there. Twenty fifth of October. At Calcutta Station, a policeman stops them. He takes them to see a judge. Mrs. Aouda goes too. Fix is in Calcutta. Detectives must move fast to find gentlemen thieves. He's waiting in court, but Fogg and his friends don't see him. Why are we here? For breaking the rules in a temple, says the judge. In Pillaji? asks Fogg. No, in Bombay, says the judge, and he puts Passepartout's shoes on the table. You must go to prison for this, says the judge. But Fogg gives two thousand pounds to the court, and they're free again. They get onto the ship for Hong Kong. Fix follows them, but Passepartout sees him. Perhaps he's a detective, he thinks. 
Perhaps he's working for Mr. Stewart from the Gentleman's Club in London. The 6th of November. In Hong Kong, Mrs. Aouda learns that her cousin now lives in Holland. Come with us to Europe, Fogg says. Passepartout wants to buy three tickets on the Carnatic. It leaves for Yokohama in Japan the next morning. But at the ticket office, he learns that it's leaving early that evening. Passepartout meets Fix near the ticket office. Come for a drink, says Fix. Fix tells Passepartout. I think your Mr Fogg is a gentleman thief and I want to arrest him. Passepartout doesn't want to help Fix. But the detective buys drink after drink. Passepartout goes to sleep on the table. Now he can't tell Fogg about the Carnatic, thinks Fix. It leaves tonight, but without Fogg. Chapter 4 Later, Passepartout wakes up. He goes onto the Carnatic and the ship leaves. But Fogg and Mrs. Aouda aren't with him. The 7th of November Next morning, Fogg and Mrs. Aouda go to get on the Carnatic, but it isn't there. Fix arrives. The Carnatic's on its way to Japan, he says. And the next ship to Yokohama leaves next week. Where's Passepartout? asks Mrs. Aouda. I don't know, says Fogg. But we must go on without him. We must find another ship. Fogg finds a small ship, the Tankadere, to go to Shanghai. There, they can get a big ship to Yokohama. Can I go with you? asks Fix. Of course, Fogg answers. The Tankadere travels through storms. And at last arrives near Shanghai. <laughs> Suddenly, they see a big ship in front of them. It's on its way to Yokohama. Signal to that ship, says Fogg. The 13th of November. Passepartout arrives in Yokohama, but he has no money. He leaves the Carnatic and finds work in Mr. Batulka's circus. 
Mr. Batulka's Circus, leaving for America tomorrow. I can go to America with the circus, he thinks. The 14th of November. Fog, Mrs. Aouda and Fix get on the big ship and a week later they arrive in Japan. The Carnatic is in Yokohama. Fog and Mrs. Aouda go on to the Carnatic. They find Passepartout's name in the Book of Passengers' Names, but they can't find Passepartout. Their ship leaves for San Francisco in a few hours. Before they leave, Fogg goes to the circus. Passepartout sees him there. Mr. Fogg, he says happily. Fogg wants to take Passepartout with him. But first, he must pay Mr. Batulka. At six o'clock in the evening, Fogg, Passepartout and Mrs. Aouda go on to the American ship. Fix follows them. Chapter 5 I'm sorry about Hong Kong, says Passepartout. I don't usually drink much, but... Later, Passepartout sees Fix on the ship. Ah, my master isn't a gentleman thief, he says. Listen, says Fix. I now have papers from London to arrest Mr. Fogg. But I can't stop him now. It must be in England. When we get there... The 3rd of December They arrive in San Francisco in the morning. The New York train leaves that evening. Fogg and Mrs. Aouda meet Fix in the street. I am travelling to Europe now. Can we travel together? He asks. Of course, answers Fogg. They walk into a meeting. Hammerfield for judge! Shout the people on the left. Mandy Boy for judge! Shout the people on the right. Then they start fighting. One man wants to fight Fogg, but Fix stands in front of him and stops him. Passepartout finds it all very strange. So, Mr. Fix is helping us now, he thinks. Fogg, Mrs. Aouda, Passepartout and Fix get on the train that evening. They cross one old bridge 
very fast, and it falls into the river behind them. Then, some Sioux Indians arrive. They kill some passengers. Paspartu fights them. But they take him and ride away with him. Fog. Mrs. Aouda and Fix get off the train. Fog goes to look for Passepartout. He finds him and brings him back. But they must wait until evening, until the next train to New York. How can we travel fast over the snow? thinks Fix. On a sledge with sails. Soon they arrive in Omaha. There they take a train to New York. The 11th of December. They arrive in New York 45 minutes late. Their ship, the China, is on its way to Liverpool. Chapter 6 the 12th of December. The next morning, Fogg, Mrs. Aouda, Passepartout, and Fix leave on a small ship, the Henrietta, going to France. Later, Fogg gives the sailors money, and they agree to go to Liverpool not to France. The sailors lock the captain in his room. The 16th of December. The Henrietta is in the middle of the Atlantic and there's no coal. Burn all the wood on the ship, says Fogg. The 20th of December. The ship arrives in Queenstown, in the south of Ireland, and there's no more wood on it. Let's get off here, says Fogg to Mrs. Aouda, Passepartout and Fix. Fix doesn't arrest Fogg in Queenstown. He's waiting for them to arrive in England. The 21st of December. They get on a train and travel to Dublin. There, they get a fast ship to Liverpool. In Liverpool, Fix arrests Fogg at last and takes him to prison. In prison, Fogg looks at his diary. The 21st of December, 11.40 a.m. We arrive in Liverpool. At two o'clock, he looks at his watch. There's time to go to London on a fast train and to be at my club by 
45 this evening, he thinks. At half past three, Fix arrives with Mrs. Aouda and Passepartout. I'm sorry, Mr. Fogg, says Fix. The gentleman thief, James Strand, is in prison. You're free to go. Angrily, Fogg punches Fix in the face. <coughs> then Fogg, Mrs. Aouda and Passepartout run to Liverpool Station. They get a fast train to London. The train arrives at ten minutes to nine. Fogg is five minutes late for his meeting with Stuart. Fogg doesn't want to get to his club late, so he goes home with Mrs. Aouda and Passepartout. Around the world, in 80 days and five minutes, he's the loser. He has only £20,000 in the bank, and he must give it all to Stuart. I'm sorry for bringing you here, to a poor man's home, he says to Mrs. Aouda the next morning. Will you marry me? asks Mrs. Aouda. Yes, says Fogg. That afternoon, Fogg tells Passepartout, I want to marry Mrs. Aouda tomorrow, the 23rd of December. Can you speak to the people at Marlebone Church about it? Soon, Passepartout returns. Today's the 21st of December. When you travel east around the world, you get an extra day. You aren't late for your meeting at the club after all, but you must run. The 21st December At a quarter to nine, Fogg enters his club. I win, he says to Stuart. Where's my twenty thousand pounds? Next Monday, Fogg, the world traveler, marries Mrs. Aouda. He's a very happy man. <laughs> <laughs>